with T quilts and I'm here to do a scrap bag reveal I don't know what's in this bag I actually purchased this bag of scraps off of a Facebook resale page and I paid eight dollars for this bag so we shall see what is in the bag first thing up is some yardage of Rams material we no longer have the st. Louis Rams but I had gotten some fabric before from this lady that had the St. Louis Rams on it. And I do have a friend that still loves the St. Louis Rams. So this is really saying that I need to do a quilt for her. I'd say it's at least two and a half yards maybe of material. And then I can just put one on the front and one on the back. I'm not going to do anything super fancy with it. But I thought that I can still use it somewhere. So now we're getting more into dressmaking materials and I probably will just keep one little scrap of this to put into a crazy quilt and then I probably will donate this to someone that makes dowel clothing. Have some cotton here. Let me zoom in as well have a chevron pattern to it that's really neat I love that so I will keep that have some plain yellow cotton I will keep that This piece here is a piece of cotton, but it's more of a denim weight. It has safari animals, zebras, cheetahs, lions. So I think I will keep this. I will either use this in a quilt or I could make some nice tote bags out of it with a heavier weight fabric. It will hold up very well, so that's a keep. Piece of fabric, this is the wrong side, and I'm assuming that this is the right side. It's very pretty, it gives me a Japanese feel to it. I'm not sure if that's what it actually is. I will most definitely keep a piece of this to use in some crazy quilts. Have some black lace. And I have a piece of black lace a piece of yardage so I probably will not keep any of this black lace just donate it to friends woohoo I got some Mizzou fabric um, I do like making college theme quilts so that will most definitely be used got a piece of Raiders fabric I'm not a fan but maybe someone else is it is 100% cotton so I'll keep that this piece here I have to check it and do the burn test I'll try to do a link up above about the burn test I've already done a video on it and check and see if it's 100% cotton if it is I most definitely can use it on the back of a quilt we got some more dressier fabrics here another piece that I will probably just cut a little piece off to use in a crazy quilt and then donate the rest have some gingham here and I will keep that as well um, got a piece of fleece I'm just going to toss that <laughs> got some scraps of fabric here nothing pretty or anything but it will be okay in a string block so I'll just keep that got this piece of fabric that is already quilted 
not anything fancy about it normally I wouldn't keep this but I think I can make one of those cell phone cases out of it just use whatever size it is so I'll keep that a piece of cotton and it just has squares geometric print all over it so I will keep that some scraps of green I'm just going to pitch this I think or give it away put it in a donate pile just because it's all pieces that I would have to cut and trim off of here's another piece of silkier material again I might just cut a little piece off to keep so here's a piece here that's like a piece of satin so I would just keep a piece of that and then donate the rest this is linen and I don't want to keep any linen material, so I'm going to donate that. Got this piece of pink. And it feels like a really good weight, so I will keep that. Some more goldy yellows. I will also keep these. This is a piece of felt. And I do have a, a felt collection, so maybe I'll just hold on to that as well. I probably don't have that color. Again, here's another scrap of that red again. Real long piece here. Just put it in the strings. This is one of those panel things. Um, don't know exactly what the panel was that was cut out. It has some kind of a border. I'm not interested in this. It has a really weird feel to the fabric. So I'm just going to pitch that. And I got another piece of it here. Also going into the trash. Some piece of white scraps I'm just going to pitch as well. And this is actually a piece of white tone on tone. And I'm not sure if it's coming up on the screen. It actually is like animal paw prints. So I will keep that. This one here, pretty piece of purple that I will just add into my string quilting. Okay. <laughs> Got some more scraps. This time it is a black and white stripe with gold polka dots. Very interesting. I will most definitely put this into my string stash. Some more of this red as well. This is another piece that kind of feel like it may have a linen feel to it, so I'm not keeping any of that. Another piece of scrap. This is a pretty one. Put it in with the strings as well. Another gorgeous piece of fabric here. I think I have some of this, especially in some other colors. I have this pink and white chevrons really pretty. Another piece of white that is already pre-quilted. I'm not going to keep that. I'm just going to pitch it. Ooh, got some more of this purple. So really happy about that. I've got to use, I get to use a little bit more of this. Very nice. And another piece of that purple. It's already been like hemmed into something. I'm just going to cut that off when I use it. <laughs> Red with white polka dot piece. This is another silky print. I will just donate after cutting a little piece off. Some yellow here that's kind of silkyish feel to it. I'm just going to pitch it because they're small pieces anyway. And then this is a piece of cotton. Just old style cotton. It can be used as a scrap. A piece of red. I don't think it's 100% cotton. And then I've got this piece of black. I think I'll just donate these two. Got a piece of fleece that will go into the trash. 
This is pretty cool. Piece of netting with polka dots. So I'll keep that for a crazy quilt. Another piece of netting. It's a piece of black, just plain. Some plain red. Just little pieces of it. And then I've got even longer scraps of this piece of fabric here. So this is very long. It's the length of the salvage. So I can at least get two, say, three and a half inch strips out of that. More pieces of it. So lots of that. That was pretty. So I like that. Here is another piece of stripe. That's a scrap. And I've got some squares here. Some of them are lined. I don't know what this fabric content is and I'm not interested in keeping that. Got a piece of scrap here that's pink. Looks really pretty. I will keep that. I don't want to keep this. Again, it's reminding me of a linen feel and I don't want to use any linens. And the reason why I'm not keeping any linens, more squares here, is because it shrinks up so dramatically when it's washed and I just don't want to be bothered with that. This is a piece of home deck. I was trying to see if it was a sample. So it is like, it feels like it could be a tapestry or something. And I will keep this because I could either do a bag. This one is definitely big enough to do a bag out of. And then I can just line the home deck fabric before I use it. More of this red, I'm just pitching. We got some more of that yellow. Another larger scrap. Some gingham check here again. This pink feels a little different. I tell you what, I'll just put it with the dial making stuff more of that brown fleece i'm not sure if it's wool fleece it feels a little different but i'm just going to keep it and i'll look it up later some other pieces but this feels like it's been burned see how this is all curled up something has happened with this so i'm just going to pitch that part some more of this red stuff this is a piece of silky material. I'll keep a little piece of it and then just donate the rest. So all of this in the trash. Here is another piece of cotton. It's striped. And it would be really good to put on the back of a quilt. Don't have to like what's on the back. It would also be really good as binding if you cut it on the diagonal. So I'm just going to do a quick measurement here, see how much it is. So it's about almost four yards here. So it would definitely be safe to go on the back of a quilt or to make another quilt back larger. Love that. Have little pieces here this is a piece of fleece and it's a little mickey piece i normally would throw this away but i think i'm going to use it in strings because it's mickey and then it was a lot of scrap pieces of interfacing i'm not going to keep that and then i've got two other pieces both black piece of fleece and let's see if I can get a yardage on this one. I'd say it's about a yard and a quarter, yard and a half on this. And it has a piece that's been taken out of it. Close to one of the edges. So I'll put that to the side. And then I have another piece of fleece here. And let's see how much this is. <laughs> it's another one. It's got a hole in it too. It's 
so it's about one and a half as well maybe I can use it on the inside of a quilt as a batting or something so I don't have to pitch it <laughs> and this last piece of black here that was just sewn in a circle feels like a piece of lining material I'm just going to pitch that so that's it for this haul I will see you in my next vlogmas. Bye-bye, everybody. Thank you.